the Shark Deck. Hello and welcome to Palace Intrigue. I am your host, Mark Francis. Royal commentator Katie Nichol told Entertainment Tonight that the Harry and Meghan have split rumours started when Meghan was noticeable by her absence during Harry's book promotion. Up until then, they've very much been a partnership, and at this crucial moment where Harry's doing the boldest and possibly bravest thing of his life, she's not there for him. And that has continued and led to more rumours of a split, of a split being on the horizon, and yet there is no evidence. They're presenting a very unified front, she said. Prince Harry and Meghan have reportedly been banned from a private member's club near their home in Montecito as people don't like paparazzi. Speaking on GB News, Lady Victoria Hervey said, I heard from people in LA that they actually got barred. A recap in the Express tells us Lady Victoria claimed that her friends in the Californian city told her they had been barred after they supposedly arranged for photographers to wait outside the club for them. Lady Victoria added that the couple do set-up shots with the paparazzi. However, journalist and broadcaster Nina Misko, who was also on the program, dismissed the rumours as tittle-tattle. Kieran Elsby, the director of Media PR Global, commented on Meghan signing with WME. It is good business to have her on their roster. It is also good for Meghan having a prestige agency. However, it's been three months since the news broke and we've heard nothing since. This is a longer period of time than is typically expected for a new client to secure deals, which suggests that Meghan may be struggling to find her footing in Hollywood. It is possible that Meghan is still in the early stages of developing her projects and doesn't want to announce anything until she's sure they're ready. It's also possible that she's been rejected from potential partnership deals, which could be demoralizing and make her reluctant to share her plans with the public. Travel company On the Beach says Prince Harry's memoir is the most discarded book of the summer. They say they have found over 100 discarded copies of the book this summer. Chief Customer Officer Zoe Harris told The Express, We never witnessed anything quite like it. Lost property offices in our most popular resorts are brimming with copies of Spare. We thought it was funny at first, but over the past few months, several other hotels have been sending the books back. They have asked hotels to stop sending them over, otherwise we'll never get rid of them all. Palace Intrigue will be right back. Hey, do you like saving money? Of course you do. Let me tell you how you can save money like I did with Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and lowers your bills all in one place. How many of you signed up to try apps only to forget and get billed again? We all get lured in. There's those TV apps we signed up for one TV show. Music apps, health and fitness tryouts, they all add up. And the average Rocket Money user can save up to $720 a year. And it's easy to use. Just download the app, connect your bank account and cards, and Rocket Money does the rest for you. You can see all your subscriptions and transactions on one screen. Plus, Rocket Money can help you budget and optimize your spending with their smart money tools. So do what I did. Say goodbye to unwanted subscriptions and stop throwing your money away by going to rocketmoney.com slash palace. That's rocketmoney.com slash palace. Rocketmoney.com slash palace. Hey, I want to introduce you to a new sponsor of ours, Green Chef. Now, in the past, I've told you about HelloFresh and their meal kits. Well, Green Chef is now owned by HelloFresh. So now you have a wider array of choices with something for everyone and you get discounts on both brands. Stay with me on how you can get 50% off. So Green Chef is a CCOF certified meal kit company. Green Chef makes eating well easy with plans to fit every lifestyle. Whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals, Green Chef offers a range of recipes to suit your preferences. These are recipes that help manage your weight and support your wellness goals without skimping on flavor. Feel your best with nutritionist-approved recipes, including meals under 700 calories, protein-packed meals with at least 40 grams of protein on average per serving, and flavorful, plant-rich vegan and vegetarian meals featuring certified organic produce, good-for-you grains, and plant-based proteins. The other day, I had some Southwest turkey stuffed peppers with buttery lemon garlic shrimp with squash and parmesan. Delicious. Who wants to spend time in the kitchen this summer when Green Chef makes it so quick and easy? Now the good part. Go to greenchef.com slash palace50 and use the code palace50 and you get 50% off plus free shipping. That's greenchef.com 
com slash palace 50 and use the code palace 50 to get that 50 percent off free shipping green chef the number one meal kit for eating well we we're always fans of akata's wonderful story and james middleton went on good morning britain to continue that narrative saying i'm always taken aback by how much she does and that she does always continue to sit at the forefront of my mind, but actually, to be honest, she's my sister, so I know all of her sort of quirks and everything. Prince William apparently uses an electric scooter to move around the vast Windsor estate. Wills has switched his love for motorbikes for short trips and has treated himself to an electric scooter. A source tells The Sun, it just makes sense. He whizzes up to the castle where he needs to see the king. It's a two or three mile round trip from his family home at Adelaide Cottage to Windsor Castle. So it's easier by scooter than car or walking. William will travel to New York for his Earthshot Prize Summit in September after his trip last year was cancelled for Queen Elizabeth's funeral. William will be joined by Michael Bloomberg, the former New York City mayor, as they begin the countdown to the third annual awards on November 7th. And Whitcomb, who once served as Shadow Home Secretary, spoke to GB News about the report that maybe perhaps 10-year-old Prince George won't join the military sometime in the 2030s. And said, I think it's insane. I think that really is what William has decided. And we only have one report. He's just lost the plot. There's a very good reason why heirs to the throne serve in the armed services. It's not because it's a fluffy tradition. It's because the armed services take their oath of allegiance to the monarch. And it is the monarch who signs off the order of war. And therefore, when they take that oath of loyalty to the monarch, they need to be able to feel that he or she is one of them. If he decides that he doesn't want royal life, I respect that. But then he gives up his birthright. People reports King Charles is continuing a conservation tradition involving local swans called Swan Upping. The week-long census is held each July. The Royals posted to social media, This year's Swan Upping is underway on the River Thames. Once a mostly ceremonial event, it is now playing an important role in the conservation of the mute swan. The health of adults and cygnets is assessed by the Royal Swan Marker and any injuries are treated before these swans are released. Long-time listeners to Palace Entry were aware the British sovereign has had his right to own any swan swimming in open waters throughout the United Kingdom since the year 966 AD in the reign of King Edgar the Peaceful. Since the 12th century, an annual swan upping census has been held on the River Thames to check the population is being maintained. People describes the upping. Once they come across a family of swans with signets, the crew of the lead boat shouts, All up! And the fleet generally corral the birds in order to delicately lift them out of the water. The swans and cygnets then had their feet or wings tied before they were moved onto the riverbank to be weighed, measured and inspected for signs of injury or illness. The swan marker said, It's worth doing because if we didn't, the population of swans would just gradually disappear. And there you have it. If you'd like to email us, our address is thepalaceintrigue at gmail.com. We're on a quest to get 1,000 subscribers over at YouTube. You could really help us out by going to youtube.com. Just search for Palace Intrigue and hit the subscribe button there. You don't have to listen to the show. Just hit subscribe. I'm Mike Francis. My thanks to John McDermott. This is Palace Intrigue. And good times. Hi, I'm Mark Francis and host of a new podcast, The Messy Effect. Join us as we take you into the exciting new world of Argentine soccer phenomenon, Lionel Messi. And his new life at Inter Miami will bring you into the glitz, the glamour, the star-studded events, along with the exciting journey to a new world of U.S. soccer and international football with news and stories three times a week. Come along for the ride as Messi, Miami and Major League Soccer experience the journey of a lifetime. Get the Messi effect wherever you get your podcasts. <laughs>